Dr. Sutton here is with us and he has some answers for our questions from our viewers right now, medical questions. First question, Dr. Sutton, what are the first signs of a stroke? I'm so happy that someone asked this question because I really think that it can save a life. So we often know strokes. Well, first of all, what is a stroke? A stroke is a lack of blood flow or an interruption of blood flow to the brain. And it can be due to a narrowing of a blood vessel or a clot in that blood vessel or even bleeding. Uh, we know strokes as the textbook presentation, which is that numbness and weakness on one side of the body. But strokes can actually be quite variable. They can include things like uh, acute changes in vision, uh, dizziness or difficulty with balance, uh, acute confusion, difficulty speaking or understanding speech or even an acute uh, explosive headache. Uh, my tips is that if you know someone or if you see someone or if you yourself has any symptoms, of course, call 911, get medical attention. But my additional, temp, uh, my additional tip is to document the time because when you get to the ER, we ER physicians are going to ask a series of questions and one of the most important ones is when did this start because that helps us decide the intervention and treatment based on the uh, presentation. So document the time and call 911. Right. TJ has a question now. This is <laughs> Very simple. <laughs> Dr. Sudden, how do I get things out of my eyes? <laughs> now, that's a very simple question, but you had an issue running where you had something in your eye a while back. Yep, and you, yep. It was bothering you for a while. And like how did you get it out? Eventually just worked its way out. And that's usually how it happens. And so oftentimes patients will come to me and I have to say it's one of the most frustrating things. I see it on a weekly basis and I, I can't help but feel so bad because it is such a frustrating feeling to have something in your eye. And sometimes it'll come out and you still feel like it's there. Right. And then you just all throughout the day. So when I see patients with that, number one, I want to know what they were doing. More, more often than not, it's usually my patients who are hammering something metal or working with power tools. And there are some items that get in the eye and really inflammatory like metal, copper, iron, uh, and steel. These things are really cause a lot of injury. If you get something in your eye, uh, use some water, blink a couple of times, rinse it maybe once or twice. Don't do it aggressively because you can hurt yourself. Do not push or, or rub on your eye because that can make it even worse. One tip we were talking about it with the producer backstage, Teresa, and, and she brought this up and it's a trick that I use. Um, use some water, clean the outside of your eye, and then pull your upper lip over your bottom lip and blink. And usually it will come out. I know, I know that sounds strange, but it's a really good tip that I think will help save some people a trip to the emergency room. All right. Yeah. <laughs> get that stuff out, don't you, Rose? has got to get it out. <laughs> okay, you keep some of your questions to Dr. Sutton on his Instagram at Dr. Daria. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.